Hey, so Chad Harris with GardenGates.com, and today I'm in front of my own house. I have this dynamite garden that is on the smallest itsy bitsy little spot on our street. Our front yard is probably, God, I can't, it can't be bigger than 30 feet, maybe 30 feet wide. The garden's maybe 30 by 25. I don't know. Maybe it's smaller than that. But it got crazy hot today. Two or three days ago, it was like 60 degrees. Today, it's like 85. Do you know what that really means? It means it's time for Jazz Fest. Jazz Fest started on Thursday, today's Saturday. You see my awesome, awesome box gloves right behind me. But you know, I got a sidewalk that runs through the middle and our, the homes here in uptown New Orleans are really close together. So if you haven't been to New Orleans, it is a great place to come to. Streetcar track is right down the street. So you can hear my wind chimes in the back. So what makes New Orleans such a great place? It's a great place to live. It's a great place to work. And it's awesome for gardening. If you ever get a chance, you need to come drive around, walk the neighborhoods, and see these lush gardens on the smallest little spaces. And so in mine, I'm gonna give you a quick little tour. I'm gonna show you what I have. And again, I got a few plants that need to be replaced and we're gonna talk about those in a second. And so when I started looking at my petunias, that's what the trigger was. I started seeing the drying. You know, I leave in the morning and a lot of times I don't come back until it's late at night. So I don't see this. And so when I started looking around today, I was like, hey, I really need to do some work. So the first thing I did was I readjusted my sprinkler system. I'm gonna get that under control. And then once either these recover a little bit or once um, we go ahead and remove these, we're gonna plant something new. And I might have to wait a few weeks before this transition because one, this stuff looks awesome. And also, I need it to get hot. You know, in New Orleans and as well as many other parts of the country, especially in the southeast, the southeastern neck of the woods, I should say, uh, you don't want to plant before the ground temperature is warm enough. You introduce, you know, funguses and all kinds of things. And you really need the plants to not stretch, like all these are stretched out. The reason why they're stretched out is because, you know, one, they froze all the way back this year. Um, they didn't die because it only froze for, we only had freezing temperatures for about a day or two. And then, ooh, look, I have a little lizard friend hanging out in there today. And then what happened was that we had a really warm winter. And so that's why they look just horrible. And they do, they look horrible, you know? I mean, when you consider that these petunias you know, it's a wave petunia, but still, it's planted exactly at the same time. So, those are waves, and these are dreams. And so they just haven't done really well. So we're gonna pull these out. We'll probably come back in and plant this whole area. I keep saying I wanna plant succulents, but, you know, because we have a boxwood garden and a pretty traditional looking Victorian house here, you know, in New Orleans, it would kind of look a little silly, but I think it would actually look pretty awesome if I planted succulents in the front of it. So then the other thing that I noticed was that my snapdragons, that was the key indicator right here. Actually, this is the first thing that I looked at and I noticed that they were really dry. Check the sprinkler system. But what's odd is my geraniums are doing really well. So sometimes, right plant, right place, and I will tell you that these snapdragons, it's not really the right place. My wife was having guests come in town, and uh, we filled everything we could with white. So white wave petunias. I love them. They work perfect with this little combination that we have here. We have a nice little diamond pattern of boxwoods that go across the front of the yard with some nice little globes. At night, it shows up really, really well. The nice white with the backdrop of the wintergreen boxwood really stands out. This one, I got a little carried away and I way, way, way overplanted the space. I mean, packed it full of foxgloves. Now, of course, it looks awesome. 